Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. This video is going to be about the Van Bedaar murders which took place on the 27th of January 2015. The purpose of me making this video is just to kind of, for those people out there who are interested in how this case has been reported, I, I find it absolutely fascinating how the majority of news reporters re misreport the, the facts of this case with a particular focus on a certain individual the one individual who everybody says was innocent or is innocent and this particular article which I was reading yesterday is compiled by a or written by a lady by the name of Tonya Farber and it's an extremely well written article um, it, it appears on the Times Live website the news website and something that I mean, this is actually I, I highly recommend going onto their website and just reading the whole article it's fascinating what she wrote I mean most of the stuff I do already know but something that I just want to mention is this if you look in the middle of the screen it says Henry stood in cold contrast to his sister Marley at sweet 16 she had a mane of golden hair and a Facebook feed peppered with pictures of beasties and sun-kissed holidays now she lay fighting for her life after several blows to the head and jugular delivered by the same axe that had ripped the life from her parents and brother. This article is written with a bit of tongue-in-cheek, I think, because the author tends to focus on the exorbitant wealth of this family, and it is exorbitant. Um, in part of this article, you'll actually see how they currently, or were, or their house is for sale in Australia, I think it's in Perth, going for 25 million rand. That's obviously besides their Dizalza home, etc., etc. So obviously, I think the whole estate was worth 200 million rand. So there's a lot of money here. But even with a tongue-in-cheek approach, with a sense of skepticism, perhaps towards the the family, in a, in the in a, because of sort of their their silver spoon lifestyle referring to the the children of this family something that really struck me even though the author of this article Tonya Faber has a or what would appear as a more objective way of looking at this whole case um, she she mentions this which she has she's completely wrong and I'll read again now she lay fighting for her life, this is now referring to Marley, after severe blows to the head and jugular. Now as I have shown in previous videos, this is a picture, or these are pictures of Marley van Bredaar. The one on the left with the wig, she's wearing a blonde wig, is taken quite soon after the accident, about, well, soonish, about five or six months after the accident, picture that she posted on Facebook, um, which was linked to an article called People Who I Love the Most, referring to her three deceased, um, the three deceased members of the From Bredaar family, her mom, dad, and brother, Rudy. But if you look at the top right-hand side of her head, you can clearly see that she was struck on the front on okay on her front left hand side of her head above her eyelid uh, her eyebrow now does that look like somebody who was struck multiple times with an axe another thing that i'd like to point out what is please look at her neck does that look like somebody okay so that's a photograph of Marley van Bredaar's neck quite all well, reasonably soon after the accident and this is a picture of Alison Boerter's neck 
reasonably soon after her attack, about 20 years ago when she was attacked by two men and stabbed multiple times and had her throat slit and she was raped and left to die. But the key that I'm trying to point out is, is that that's her neck soonish after the attack. This is Alison Boerter more than a decade after her attack. Notice her neck. And here we have Marli van Breda quite soon after her attack. And, you know, and perhaps, perhaps I'm blind. I, I don't know, guys, do you see, do you see any damage there on the neck? I, I don't see it. So let's go back to that article. Second paragraph. Now she lay fighting for her life after several blows to the head and jugular delivered by the same axe that had ripped the life from her parents and brother. After several blows to the head and jugular. I mean, does this look like somebody who's had several blows to her head? If Marley had had several blows to her head, she would have, she would not have her natural hair sort of seven, eight months after the accident. There would be literally chunks of hair her, you know, pieces of hair, miss, uh, portions of her hair permanently missing. And that is her natural hair that's growing back on the right-hand side. There's obviously a picture of her with a wig. They obviously, had, when, you, when you have a severe head trauma, they would normally shave that part of your head. I, I don't know, guys. Um, you know, the part where she was struck, that, that hairline has receded. Okay, I'm not arguing. But... I don't know. Do you do you guys see anything else? But I, I'm, you know, this is what I'm trying to say, and I've said this from the beginning. The litmus test of this whole thing is this about Marley, Marley's involvement. If she's innocent, right? Okay, it's contentious even to say this about this girl on on, on YouTube, but if she is innocent, right? The question to ask her is this, how many times were you struck with the axe? How many times? And have you had hypnotherapy to try to rekindle your thoughts? Because apparently you've got retrograde amnesia. And would you have a polygraph test and answer one question? Did you know the killer? It's as simple as that. It's those three things. Number one. How many times were you struck with an axe? Number two. Number two. Have you had hypnotherapy to try to rekindle your memories from that night? And number three. Would you have a polygraph test and try to and answer just this one question? Did you know the killer? We'd like to know. I mean, perhaps you, you could do that for us. I mean, you, you, I think you're going to be 19 years old quite soon. It would be interesting to hear what your answers would be. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe.